Today, we're gonna see all the crazy stuff you guys are picking in World Arena. Let's get it started. Let's see what crazy stuff you guys are picking, uh, today. Okay. Seems about- <laughs> Seems about normal until we get to that. Uh, they could have picked Tetra for that. Well, they last pick gets banned regardless. Uh, dots on top of dots on top of dots on top of dots. Josephine's gonna have a field day. Okay. Usually Praha for RTA is ruined, uh, well, everything's ruined violent. Man, not everything. A lot of things are ruined violent. But. Yeah, let's see. It's gonna be nasty. It's a lot of dots. They're gonna do all double damage. It's <laughs> a lot of dots. So Monkey's dead. So Monkey's not dead. Okay, took a little, little, little monkey damage. They just want to finish him off. Yeah, there we go. Stripping the dots. Oh my god. As crazy as this is, it's actually working. It is actually working. All you have to do is bring three things that strip into dots, and you can run a dot team in World Arena. Hey, you don't have to worry about uh, crit rate, crit damage. Attack, really anything with this team. Just, uh, speed, HP, and accuracy. We're about to see the same- well, maybe not exactly the same thing. Ooh, the Tomo in there, too. Dots and dots and dots and Rika gets ba obviously Rika gets banned. Okay. Let's see. The opponent could do a lot of- They resist? That was a huge resist. How tanky is this, uh, this Grim Reaper gonna be? Because his base stats are not crazy. Second Awakening is better, of course, but... Not that ridiculous. Still a decent amount of damage they did. Okay. I would have maybe gone for something else. This way you could at least kill something, but... The Julian's just gonna... The nice thing about the... Oh, never mind. I was gonna say the nice thing about the Julian is, uh... The... Dots are strong against him, but Julian actually got changed. This still, this team still worked out. That was surprising. Let's see the next round of crazy. This doesn't look too crazy. We got Jubel though. Okay. And we also have Kyan. So Jubel and Kyan against a fairly meta team. The Morakun is decently strong. Okay. That's basically nothing. And. It's looking rough. It's looking rough. Can they can they make some kind of comeback happen? No proc with Rakuni. Okay, cry of cha wait, 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 this is the comeback. Cry of challenge and counter. How many counters? How many counters? I, I counted them out too fast. Nice uh, two-way Jubel. Yeah, that's that's. Oh man, I'm gonna say it's working nicely. It it actually is working nicely. I'm surprised at how uh, how how well this was, how how well this was, how well this did. English guys, I don't know it. I never have the uh, confidence to use Jubel against Kinky. Like he's he's fairly decent against Kinky, but I'm like, nah, I'm gonna I'm gonna there's no chance I'm gonna get screwed. Things things are gonna go poorly. It's not bad. That's that's not bad. And as soon as he gets as soon as uh, Jub uh, Kyan gets the skill threes off. There's really not too much. <laughs> he didn't get the provoke, but aside from that, there's really not too much that uh, Kinky can do. He can't defense break. He can't stun. So, yeah, there, there you go. I think it's, uh, I think it's basically over. Uh, that was, uh, that was pretty impressive, actually. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. No. Sure. Let's, let's see, let's see what happens. 
I don't... I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this. Uh, I I would love to see something crazy happen, but it's it would both be improbable and also unfair to see something crazy happen with this uh, fire mummy. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I don't know if the fire mummy's really doing too much. I think it's more that the he's a, he's he's got reflect damage. That's kind of what he does. He takes more damage, but he also reflects some of the damage to the enemy. Okay. Heal blocks. If the water totemist was not there to do her... Uh, yeah, she's countering quite a decent amount now. So if she was not there to do her thing, then this would have been very rough. This, this would have definitely already been over. I can't believe this is actually working. I can't believe this is actually working. Oh, jeez. I mean, they, would they have two reflects, though? They have the reflect from the Pudding Princess. They also have the reflect from the uh, Sonora. Is that, is that his name? The Fire Mummy? I think his name might be Sonora. One of them is named Sonora. I know that much. It's been so long. It's been years since I've seen this thing do anything. He used to be... He used to be something. There we go. Uh, he used to be a thing in uh, Arena Defense. Water Art Master first pick. That's very odd. You generally do not see counter picks being picked as the first pick because there's nothing to count. And three star Olivine. That is going to be a nemesis will, double nemesis will trap. But I'm curious if he's just going to die before he gets a chance to do anything. Okay. He was tanky enough to at least not die immediately. But shield will cleave. There we go. Let's see if Bellinus can do some crazy stuff. It was enough. Yep. And then Rakan is dead. GG. Three star. Bring a three star into RTA. But it's a it's a very specific counter. It's not just like a three star that has no runes. It's a very specific fast nemesis double nemesis will Olivine. Okay. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> okay. We're gonna see this. Alright. This should be very interesting. So, um, what a team. This is a team that no one else <laughs> No one else wants to use. Actually, the rest of this stuff is kind of smart together. The shield from Josephine with the pure vanilla is actually pretty smart. So, and then Conrad also does a... He got changed though, didn't he? It's been a while since I used Conrad. Um, he used to do a shield. Uh, I think she might still do a shield, so... Going for the Conrad first. Clearly, that is the threat. Clearly, that's why you see him everywhere. You're like, oh, Conrad, he's so... He's so OP. <laughs> Clearly the strongest unit. I guess they're just expecting him to be the squishiest. So, I believe some of his uh, some of his skills are based on HP, and some of his skills are based on attack too. So he's kind of like, cool. How am I supposed to? It's um, it's kind of similar to the Dark Sylphid, who's I believe an attack type unit, and she does the the pure damage from her HP. So. It's like, yeah, maybe it would be better for it to be an HP type unit. But, come to us knows. It's not like they don't know. Yeah, they're just, uh... It's, it's just like a, hitting a brick wall, basically. The heal block is actually beneficial here, though. It's kind of funny. And attack power breaks? Not bad. Oh my god. How frustrating must this be to go against? It's like, I just keep hitting a brick wall. Was not expecting to fight this today. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, this this it's gonna be a forever match unless they get a lot of heal blocks on. So this is ridiculous. Oh they do they do have a defense break, so there's that. There you go. Nothing Abelio can do. And they just, they can see, they're like, I don't want to play anymore against this. Double strips. We have a light gargoyle. Okay, we got some, we have multiple LD5s in the battlefield. 
We have the Amduat gets banned and the LD5 gets banned. When in doubt, just ban the LD5. Usually, usually a good option. So counters, but has no crit rate. You gotta put if you have counter on her, you have to put crit rate. Did not get any defense breaks. So this does no damage if there's no defense breaks. And then ready to attack, increase attack bar. And then starting. Oh, they're gonna get gargoyled. Hold on. Earth Strike gets three provokes. And then all of that increases the cooldowns. So now they're not going to be able to do their strips to actually get all of that off. You got to put more crit rate on that, uh, that Lima, though. That's the whole point. If she's on revenge, then she's going to increase her crit rate when she revenges if she crits. She needs to actually crit to do that, though. This is already game. I mean, you got the you got the light penguin on there. Of course, he's too too OP. Bastard first pick, so you know they're gonna cleave. And Eludia, I'm all of a sudden more excited by this. Actually, some wacky, <laughs> some wacky picks. Uh, wait, no, it's not. It's really not that wacky. They got the speed lead. They have uh, things that are on Swift. Yep, they banned out the speed lead on the opponent's side. And now they're just going to town. They're like, we can uh, we can cleave the cleaves. It's just an unexpected cleave. It's an unexpected cleave that cleaves. First pick Wally Young, so you know they're going for a cleave. And also... Okay. Let's see, who do they ban out? Alright. Ban out the Riley, ban out the Wally Young. So they have... They still have a strip and defense break, and... Maybe the Wally Young gets banned out so much they're like, I'm just going to make my whole team work around not even needing Wally Young at all. Just expecting her to be banned every single time. Wasn't, oh, uh, wasn't enough to kill everything, but gets the additional turn. And isn't that just what Summoner's War is all about? So. Yeah, I, I honestly, well, I was going to say honestly, I think Kinky has this, but uh, yeah, may, maybe not. Maybe, maybe, uh, skill one. Why, why skill two? Skill one. What do you think is going to happen? <laughs> How do you think Laika works now? You have to do multi-hits. That's the point of Laika. Mul m skill one. Oh my God. I'm yelling at this person now. Skill. They almost lost. Skill one. Skill one. C3, 17, 10 points. So that's actually almost G1. Oh, he's got the Leo Lucifer. All right. Let's see it. Leo Lucifer, Mephisto, and Linda. Bans out the attack power buffer. Okay. Bans out the HP lead. How much damage? All right. Devil's Bargain. And nothing is going to be able to revive. I mean, Linda's kind of a moot point <laughs> because they have the Mephisto there. But, yeah. And then... This Miles is going to not be able to do any damage because Leo's on the field. That was that was a very fast win. <sighs> the LD's already coming out. Okay, and the revives on the other side. Laika and Alicia. Does Alicia get banned? Yes, she does get banned. They have one attack power buffer unit, though. So, let's see. Well, they do still have all the multi-hits with the Linda. That's that's really what I wanted to... Uh, and then nothing's going to revive. On many counts, right? And then all those multi-hits could buy. Laika does not revive. And that's game... Wow. It's just how RTA is. You got the meta units versus the LD. <laughs> Maybe a little bit uh, not normal LDs that we see in RTA. But Guillaume uh, plus the Molly there. So Guillaume's definitely going to be getting... Uh, invincibility quite a bit with Molly on the battlefield, giving him that extra chance to uh, get glanced on. Also have the crit resist there too. As soon as Guillaume takes a turn, ah, uh, is he on revenge? That's a good question. I think Guillaume on revenge is pretty pretty decent. So, all right, guess the invincibility again. Oh, they could they could use that to their advantage. They can keep triggering the invincibility on uh, Guillaume and then stacking the the Bulwark. Actually, Bulwark is stacking quite a lot. Especially due to uh, Josephine and the Horus. But he's st they're staying stunned. 
or they're 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 keeping him stunned. Is what I meant to say. English is is hard, guys. Trey's like a 25 minute long match. Oh my goodness. Well, Counter was trying to kill Cleves, so that's why we get 25 minutes. Actually, ironically enough, um, Cleves are not that bad this season. Some of the some of the best win rate units are Cleve units. We've got uh, the classic match of 009 fan versus but 20987. Wow, what an intimidating. <laughs> Uh, if it's the right button, it could be very intimidating. Okay, so accuracy, leader skill. They got the Gany Hathor, though. Don't have the strips, but they do have the Gany Hathor. I wanted to see. I don't want to see the Gany Hathor. I've seen plenty of Gany Hathor, but I do want to see if they can make something crazy happen with this Dark Succubus. Because I've been wanting to make something crazy happen with this thing for quite a while. And we were not. A oh my goodness. We were not able to actually make it work. I think it's just going to die. All right. It does ignore defense, so let's see. It doesn't die. Well, it's also not level 40, but I'm guilty of the same exact thing. Uh, <laughs> okay, so uh, Dark Succubus is now... Oh, hold on. I was going to say the whole, the whole match is basically over because uh, she took a turn. That is dangerous. If she takes a turn with the opponent not having... Well, you can see. You can see the screen. Uh, if she takes a turn when the opponent does not have uh, immunity up, it could very well be over. Unless you have a... <laughs> unless you have a... Uh, water living armor on the battlefield. And that's going to get second awakened soon. So, triple on Miyuji's on the battlefield already. C3, C2. We also have a Hanra. We also have a Fire Cassandra, which is potentially a nasty unit on Nemesis. So, I made that mistake this week. <laughs> I'm like, oh, it's Alphara Cassandra. We don't have to worry about that. And then it's on Nemesis. And then one of my units is down. So, it's uh, very interesting. We also see that with Daphnis. You also see that with a few other ignore defense units uh, on Nemesis can be kind of nasty. So, can they take down the Hanra? Ignore defense, but does not kill. So, Hanra can get his, uh, his ignore defense back. Uh over and over again potentially but not if he's dead but he needs to have hp to do that which right now uh he does so that is kind of the gimmick i've seen hanra actually used more than you'd think because you think maybe some of you think that like oh this is this kind of is a gimmick video right we're seeing gimmick picks but i've actually seen hanra a decent amount with multiple on Mugis. this is not the first time because it is a comp that it's kind of like a surprising effective comp. So, yeah, there's a lot of damage. A lot of damage from that Fire Cassandra. And also back to full health. Uh, I don't think Camille's going to be able to handle this as soon as they get another turn. Well, I feel that the Fire Cassandra is going to do enough to Camille that they don't even need the Hanra back. But... Yeah, these, these two support units are enough to keep that around. No, nope, maybe not. Yeah, but I don't know how long this is gonna take. I just, I just, I know that Camila is not is not gonna win this. Sorry, Camila. Or you know, this is Summoner's War, so anything can happen. So maybe anything can happen. Fourteen turns. Let's see it. Nah, I think, uh, I think that's game. Camila needs like one tap, and here we go. Yep, that's what he does. So you see some normal stuff on the left, and then we go to the Randy pick. Okay, so they do have strips, and then they have Varad based on defense. They also have the crit buff and defense buff from the Randy, and Randy's going to be able to do his um, ignore defense with his skill, potentially ignore defense with skill one, potentially go crazy with uh, multi-hits and multi-hits and multi-hits on skill two. Maybe he's on additional damage. I'm sure he is on additional damage. So, even with skill 1, additional damage is uh, not that bad because he's got multi-hits. He's got two hits. But skill... Oh, I thought they were going to go crazier. Skill uh, 2 can potentially just go bonkers. So... I don't think we're seeing much from Randy. <laughs> it was a valiant effort, though. 
ready to snipe. And it's just, it's just mostly helping Varad do more. And then if they have additionals, uh, defense-based additional damage, um, that'll also help as well. Because there's so many multi-hits uh, on that side. Wusa first... Pa okay, this is a very interesting... It gets even more interesting. All right. Let's see. Ciara gets banned. They still have... Okay, I was going to say they still have a speed lead, but... There's not really a great reason for Jamie to be on... They're going to land this. Yeah, they're going to land this stun. But... Cleanse and attack power buff. He didn't get the defense break. Oh, no. <laughs> he didn't get the defense break. If he got the defense break... Well, you... Oh, my goodness. Man. That thing in is going to be very frustrating now. That's, that's kind of the issue with Han, though, is... Uh, not 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 really complaining. He's a great unit, but if he doesn't land his defense break, if anything doesn't land any skill, it's kind of poo poo. Uh, unless it's like ignore defense, then <laughs> it really doesn't need to land too much. There's no accuracy to uh, worry about. But man, that would have been a different story if Han actually got the defense break there. Yeah, let's see some more Jamie. What do they ban out? Okay, Tessarion. Good unit though. Very good. I'm surprised actually they banned out the Tessarion. <laughs> just just keep on going. Just keep going until it dies. Okay. That is the power of the skill too of these bounty hunters. Yeah, they're like, I don't want to deal with that crap anymore. Hold on. Does he get another chance to do crazy things? He at least gets the chance to buff his team. What a team player. That thing is going to die in a second. Yeah, that thing is just dead. After the amount of times it hit the... Uh, the Jaeger, you know that was the next target. You're like, I don't want to deal with that anymore. He doesn't. He didn't do his attack power buff yet. So this is gonna. I'm gonna say it's gonna be a recon spotlight. So let's uh, let's see if it is. Guess the glancings. Okay, we get some stuns. No, unleashed fury. Yeah, glancing debuff and hitting a fire unit. Well, it is, it is Summoner's War. That could mean absolutely nothing. Because who knows if that's going to work or not. Okay, still has the Glancing Debuff, though. Trying to take Rakan down with the Glancing Debuff is... I mean, I get that that, that is the biggest threat, but... <sighs> All those provokes. Jeez. So early, Douglas. You could just play around that that early, which they do not do. They definitely do. I don't know. I okay. Uh, they they pick that horse mostly just for the Verti Hill. So let's see what kind of crazy stuff we want to see. The uh, the BK. That's the crazy stuff we want to see. One shot everything. No, don't count. Don't counter. Okay, frenzy again. There we go. <laughs> for sure, why not? Uh, three frenzies. That's uh, I mean, it's not the craziest I've ever seen, but uh, yeah, that was that was good enough. That'll do. I don't. They could have just gone skill. Why didn't they just go skill one? I don't know, guys. I don't know. There you go, guys. Some wacky picks. Some of those were a little bit crazier than others. Some of them were like, oh, that's kind of fun to look at. Okay, I see how the interaction between that is. Some of those were just like, what are they thinking? Anyway, that's it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you as always in the next one.